Henry the Blasian. Brand new. Yo, what's going on guys? Henry the Blasian here and welcome back to another video, man. And as you guys can see in front of you today, that's right, man. I got my hands on the brand new 96 overall pink diamond unlimited reward Paul Pierce, man. And this card is looking filthy. He's the ultimate reward if you manage to go through everything in my team unlimited. Now, was I able to do all of this, win that many games to get this card? Absolutely not, man. So that's why I got to shout out my homie, MJ's TV, who's just an absolute demon when it comes to the unlimited streets, man. Prior to the patch that happened today, this dude was greening. And let me just show you what his record looks like. Boom, man. Just look at that. This dude is sick. 70 what? and 0 when it comes to my team unlimited mjs if you're watching this you're literally disgusting man what he had to do was basically go 68 and 0 which means you had to win over 60 games to get this ping diamond paul pierce so you guys can see that unlimited is a completely different field than it was last year the question is is this paul pierce worth winning all those games to be honest i'm not the biggest fan of the new unlimited system but it is what it is but is paul pierce worth winning over 60 games for having to win your last 12 in a row we're about to find out man now if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that sub button and let's aim for 2,000 likes on today's video but without further ado let's dive into the stats see what this Paul Pierce is all about and then hop into a game man so as you guys can see he's a 96 offensive overall 88 defensive overall standing at 6-7 at the three diving into the stats decent driving layup I like the post fade at a 90 92 mid-range and a 90 two three-pointer man so he should be a knockdown shooter for sure especially with the new patch that happened today 84 free throw 80 driving dunk honestly isn't bad decent ball handling but needs just a bit more so he can speed boost but a uh, decent passing the defense is insane 91 perimeter defense everything else is a bit subpar but again it's the beginning of the year man as we keep going he's got an 81 speed and 80 acceleration with a 75 speed with ball 85 strength i feel like is a big dub right there and 91 last Lateral quickness and the mental game ladies and gentlemen well it's on point man when we dive into the badges he's got three hall of fame badges 22 gold four silver and one bronze this includes catch and shoot on hall of fame so he should not be missing wide open shots on a catch and shoot hall of fame clutch shooter and tireless shooter so this card just looks like he's built to get buckets man diving to the gold badges i'm seeing gold clamps gold intimidator tireless defender fancy footwork space creator deep fades just a lot of badges you want to see on a card including gold range extender but unfortunately he's also got the gold steady shooter as well but all around man paul pierce you're looking like a demon are you worth putting in all those hours for though we're about to find out without further ado let's hop into a game and let's see what the truth is really about let's get into it all right, and our matchup today is looking like Ruby, Damian Lillard, Kobe Bryant, Tatum, Porzingis, and the big Shaktis, man. Let's show them what this Pierce can do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HTV gameplay, and I'm playing online for the first time, and it's not even on my own account. Let's get running with it, Middleton. Right to Paul Pierce, all the way through, putting it down to start the game. You love to see it, man. One thing I definitely want to get into with this card is the shooting. It looks like he's already sitting in a zone defense. I assume that's what everyone does these days. Get there. Right to Pierce, wide open mid-range, not a green, but it's a bucket, I'll take it, baby. Good defense right there by Porzingis. Now let's run with it. Pierce once again in transition. I'm not stopping for anyone. Whoa. That's a very contested that? layup. I don't know how that's only 25%, man. We're not even three days into the game, and all people want to do is five out offense. Get Pierce cutting right away. Pump fake and swing it. One more swing. Swing again. Tingus. Tingus. Green. Beam, baby. Let's go. Now I got to be honest. I'm probably not going to play the best because this is my first online game ever. So I just kind of want you guys to keep that in mind. Wide open. I can't shoot when he's playing a zone that is so frustrating it delays my square button get that rebound boys come on man let's keep it going here let's go right to lillard uh let's go right to tingus 
Get my boy Pierce cutting all the way through. It looks like going to the basket, he really is nice. I can't really dribble with him because his ball handling isn't nice like that. But uh, this guy is not very fun to play. He's going straight into his five out. I've got to sit in a zone defense. Otherwise, I can't really do much. Look at that. Good defense. And I don't know how Porzingis isn't sending that. But it's all good. As long as we can get open with Pierce right there. Swing it to the corner. Cash Middleton. I know he's got a great jumper. We're knocking that down as well. This is what I don't like about the shooting boost, though. You can now just hit full whites as much as you want. Give me that. That's baited. Thank you. Two seconds. Catch and shoot. Oh, I thought I could do that at the buzzer. And it still went down. I mean, it doesn't count, but hey, that's a nice bucket. 17-12 lead after the first. Let's keep it rolling. He is still going to be sitting on that zone defense, as you can see. So let's get right in there. Defensive three seconds. Keep off-balling me, buddy. See, again, these aren't the most fun guys to play. It's my first game of the day, which actually kind of sucks. My first online game ever. But Paul Pierce is doing his thing. Can I say he's worth 60 games yet? I'm not sure. But uh, let's keep this game going. In the corner, that is so baited. Let's keep it rolling. Oh, Pierce is already cutting through. Nice pass. Nice dunk right there. We get lucky on that little cherry pick. I'll take it, man. Look at that rim running. It's not going to work out, buddy. All right, come on. Let's actually get a bucket off it this time, though. All the way through. Hop into it. Got him. Easy layup right there for Paul Pierce. He is exhausted, but he's getting buckets. Good defense right there by Jason Tatum. I can't see my shot contest on this game. I'm assuming MJ's did not have his settings on, but uh, let's get Pierce cutting right away. Get in there. Get in there. Now go up big boy style. Easy bucket once again, man. Paul Pierce. Not too bad so far. Make that pass. I saw that. Thank you, Donovan Mitchell, you defensive god. Let's go right to Tatum. All the way through. Zingus inside. You're a big man. Go up. No one can stop you right there. And we got ourselves some free throws, man. I'm going to be honest, though. The delay from offline to off online isn't as bad as it was in 2K20. I remember in 2K20, if you played offline and went to online, you'd feel like you were playing five seconds behind. This year, it's actually not as bad. No way that's going down, bro. That is way too deep. Nobody has Hall of Fame range extender, baby. Paul Pierce all the way through. Hit him with a spin maneuver. Hey, let's get right, baby. Lock him up. You wanted to play zone defense? Let me show you what a zone defense nightmare is really like. You're not hitting any shots. I'm hitting all of mine. Pump fake. Right back to Pierce. All the way through. And once again, we are drawing a foul there. And we got some free throws. Rim running is basically the meta right now at the beginning of the year. And Paul Pierce is showing that. All right. First free throw right here. It is going down. And our opponent has left the match. Ladies and gentlemen, you love to see it. My first game online. Not on my account. And we get the dub. Obviously, this one game is not going to be enough. So let's go ahead and let's hop into another one. Next matchup's looking like Lillard, Russell, Butler, Siakam, and O'Neal. The truth is here to set you free. Let's get to work. All right, guys. Welcome to game number two. Oh, we almost turned the ball over right there. But guess what? We got Paul Pierce, a.k.a. The Truth. Let me see what he can do off a of pick and roll. Nice little finesse right there. Oh, I thought I could blow by. And I do all the way through. And we're drawing a foul to start the game right there. One thing I have noticed about 2K21, it is so easy to draw fouls. But good thing he's got a decent free throw first one there is going down one thing i recommend you guys never do when it comes to free throws is use the shot stick at that point just use square guys hit that screen hit that screen thank you and stop swing one more swing damian lillard not a green but it's a bucket baby come on let's go Bait that. Good defense there by Zingas. Let's get the second quarter going, man. Come on, right to Middleton. Now get Paul Pierce cutting because he's going to be baited by that easy dunk right there. The off-ball defense really isn't that fun to play, but I'm getting you guys this gameplay no matter what. Good defense right there. No chance that is going in. Let's keep running with it, man. Uh, right to Zingas. Who's going to get open right here? Let's go right to Pierce. Let me go right into that pick and fade. Hit that screen. Thank you. Poor Zingas. Wide open. Dimer me, mama. Let's go. Let's try the pick and roll right here with Paul Pierce and see how this goes. Oh, he bit on it. Diver me, Myers Leonard. I don't know if you have a three like that, but it looks like you do. Again, they've really boosted the shooting percentages. So, Shaq, you're not as good as you once were anymore. Get in the post. Get in the post. I'm seeing Paul Pierce. That's a mid-range pull-up, not a green. But once again, you can now hit a ton of full whites, man. Get that rebound, boys. This guy literally cannot shoot. So I'm not sure if I should credit myself for being a good shooter. Oh, get faked out. Paul Pierce in transition with the layup. But it seems like I can shoot and nobody else really can. Maybe that's what I get for playing the computer on Hall of Fame difficulty this whole time against bots. Good defense right there. That's not going down either. Come on. Let's get a statement bucket right here with Pierce. All the way through. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Out to Myers Leonard. Why not let it fly? Myers Leonard. Okay. I'm seeing Donovan Mitchell, pump fake, way too open right there, not a green, but it's a bucket, dimer me mama. 
Give me that. Good defense by Pierce. Nice little interception. Come on, let's get a bucket off it. Pierce going through and drawing a foul. No and one, but I think this guy, just like that, is out of here as well. So we forced not one, but in fact, two rage quits right there with Pink Diamond Pierce. Let's hop back into the main menu and let's talk a little bit more about this card. All right, so as you guys were able to see from those two games, man, this Ping Diamond Paul Pierce is an absolute problem. He was dominating, going to the rim, hitting his shots, playing defense just everywhere on the court. The one thing I do wish this card did have is better dribbles. For that reason, I feel like I'd rather play this card at the four than the three. Now, Paul Pierce, he is very nice, but in my opinion, is he going to be worth going the full distance of 60 plus games for? For now, I'm going to have to say no. Now, I know I probably did not use Paul Pierce to his full potential. Those were my first two online games ever on 2k21 so i wasn't expecting to be an absolute demon but we did walk away with the wins and the paul pierce all around is a very good card my only worry with this paul pierce guys is how quickly he's gonna get outdated because you guys know in nba 2k20 cards were getting outdated left and right after two weeks and i don't want to have to play 60 plus games win 12 in a row for those last games just to get a card that might not last until october so that's kind of what worries me if 2k could clarify that some of these cards are going to be able to be dominant at least until christmas then that's definitely worth something then that's definitely something worth grinding for but right now i really can't say that the card is worth grinding for though i do like his badges a lot though the hall of fame catch and shoot and tireless shooter are absolutely nuts especially because stamina is a lot more damaging and fatiguing this year and the fact that i was still able to get buckets while he was on that gatorade symbol was a good look for the card all around the card is an absolute dub i just don't know if i can say i'd be willing to win 60 plus games for this card but uh with all that being said guys this is going to be the end of the video if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers don't forget to hit that sub button and join the blazer nation man i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care